Христос воскрес, Христос воскрес, 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 и мертвых смертью, смерть подолам, смертью, смерть подолам, и тим, что пробах, и тим, что пробах. Життя, життя, життя дарував, смертю, смерть подолам, смертю, смерть подолам, і тим, що пропав, і тим, що пропав, життя, життя, життя дарував. Christos was grand. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us from St. Basil's uh, Monastery Chapel here in Edmonton. Uh, praying with us today are our Father Thomas and, and Father Mark and, uh, and our beautiful angelic choir. This is the um, second Sunday after Easter, dedicated to the memory of the mere bearing women who are the first to go to the grave, Jesus' tomb and to discover the beautiful news that Jesus has risen from the, day, from the dead. And in this we rejoice. Let us uh, praise and worship God, and let us um, unite us as one family, as God's family throughout the entire world, uh, bringing forth our own needs and prayers and petitions. Let us pray. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Наше Христо Богові, вітаємо! Слави Господи, 
Gloria a Deus, Senhor, que se aplaude, cheste com o Ninho, Senhor, se não é o nome do Pai, nem nem possui o chance de viver vitni.
Господи, и Боже наш, и славу ссылаем от силы и сыны Святого Духови, ныне и после час веки вечны. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenius, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. Peace be with you, reader. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Alleluia, alleluia, You have shown favor to your land, O Lord. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. Mercy and truth have met. Righteousness and peace have embraced. Alleluia. 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 Wisdom, stand right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all of you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory be to you, Lord. Glory be to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Joseph of Arimathea a prominent member of the council, who himself lived in the hope of seeing the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate, astonished that he should have died so soon, summoned the centurion and inquired if he was already dead. Having been assured of this by the centurion, he granted the body to Joseph, who bought a shroud Took Jesus from the cross, 
wrap him in a in the shroud and laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, that were watching and took note where he was laid. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, the Salome, bought spices with which to go to anoint them. Well, early in the morning of the first day of the week, they went to the tomb just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, we will roll away the stone from, for us from the anxious to the tomb. But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had uh, already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in a white coat seated on the right-hand side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, there is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. Uh, he is not here. See, here's the place where uh, they laid him. But you must go and tell his disciples of Peter, he's going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him, just as he told. The woman came out and ran away from the tomb because they were frightened and they said nothing, for they were afraid. <laughs> Please be seated. Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. I want to reflect with you today is this about uh, uh, fear and faith. Fear and faith. Fear has the ability to paralyze. Faith, on the other hand, has the power to free. Uh, uh, fear is, is can prevent us from uh, from moving forward and, and doing the things that we would like to do and the things that God would, has in store for us in the building up of the kingdom of God. And uh, and fear prevents us from uh, reaching our potential, God's potential within each of us. Uh, uh, faith and fear. Uh, faith is the antidote for for fear. Well, you, many of you may remember this, my story about uh, St. George's uh, Parish and, and when they had built a new church and it came time to beautify the church with the, all of the, the iconography, including that as this of the Ponte Crater in the, in the dome and how at the time the pastor, Father Volodymyr Tarnowski, had, had uh, invited me to uh, go uh, climb to the top. They had all that scaffolding there, and and, uh, and just see the iconographer at work. He says, "When, when are you going to have an opportunity like that?" And I thought, "Never." So I began to crawl, and I got halfway up there, and my knees began to shake, and I couldn't couldn't go any further. Fear had paralyzed me. When we think is this about uh, Jesus having been um, uh, arrested and and um, and, and crucified, we, we can think about the uh, Saint Peter and, and the locked and, and the disciples, and how fear had had bound them, had paralyzed them from accompanying Jesus uh, in his hour of, of need. And we and we see is this is out of fear that the disciples feels is that they're, the the same outcome will be theirs, is that they too will be arrested and and uh, and put to death. And, and so is this St. Peter from a distance follows in, in the courtyard and uh, fear uh, paralyzes him in, uh, in coming to the point that he even de denies knowing Jesus. And the disciples, uh, even after Jesus' death, is, they, they hide in a, in a locked room. Fear prevents them from preaching the gospel news. On that first Sunday, Easter Sunday morning, the mirror-bearing women, who this is the mirror-bearing Sunday, is this so, so they find courage and, uh, and they go to the tomb 
and it's their faith uh, and love uh, for God that uh, brings them forth. What are they going to do? Well, Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea had, had uh, gone to the authorities and asked for Jesus' body, and Jesus' body is laid in, into a tomb, and then a huge stone is rolled into the place. And uh, these women, I don't imagine that the uh, Mary Magdalene and the others, is this, they would have had the strength to roll away that stone, but somehow it's their faith that this impossible task of rolling away the stone in order for them to enter into the tomb and to complete the Jewish burial rites by anointing with aromatic spices Jesus' body. Uh, see, it was, it was the eve of, uh, of the Sabbath of the, and the feast of the Passover that, that um, uh, they quickly buried Jesus' body, but they didn't finish the burial uh, rites according to the Jewish custom. And, and what's more so is this, that uh, it's the mirror-bearing women's faith that something's going to happen, something's going to allow them entry. Remember, the soldiers, uh, Pilate's soldiers were standing guard, and the, the women had to, had to get through the soldiers or to convince them with their charm and their smiles, or I don't know what it was, but it, it was their faith that is this, they would gain entrance into the tomb. But notice that after they uh, uh, approach and the, the stone had been rolled away, an angel in, in uh, a white dazzling clothes comes to them and says, what are you looking for? What are you doing here? The one that, that you have come to see to anoint his body, he is risen from the dead. Go and tell the others. But that last line of today's gospel always captures me. It says, out of fear, they did nothing. They, they too, fear could have bound them. But we know the rest of the story. Somehow they overcame their fear. And what the angel had asked them to do, go and tell Peter and the others that Jesus has risen from the dead. And he awaits, awaits you. Is this, uh, he, he wants to be with you, to see you. The risen Lord is this death cannot bind him. He is victorious over sin and, and death. It, let your, your fear no longer paralyze you. Go and tell the others. So the mere bearing women, the gospel says, out of fear they did nothing. But out of faith they overcame their fear. And they did the most miraculous thing that they possibly could do. They go and they tell Peter and the other apostles and, and the friends of this of Jesus. And we've been doing that from one generation to the next. Fear can bind. Fear has power to bind. But faith is the antidote. Faith in the risen Lord frees us so that we can share one with another. We can walk with each other. We can tell others of the love of, of God. Even death cannot bind us. Because it is, we have this beautiful gift of eternal life. We are one once again with God the Father. And the, the, the power, the potential to be in the Garden of Eden, that great gift of God is once more ours. So be not afraid. Have faith. Fear can no longer paralyze us. Let us have faith in, in the risen Lord. And then that so that which binds us is this can those chains and uh, the hinges, the locks, is this they've been broken once and for all. And that our faith, which is in the risen Lord, which is the antidote for fear, can make us do wonderful things. We can tell each other, just as the mirror bearing women told of Jesus' presence in the world. We can be kind one to another, as is reaching out, what, what do you need? Tell me. You know, as, as spiritual givers, tell us who, who, who is sick, who is in need. Is we will pray for them. Email us, uh, phone us, uh, whatever it is. Ask each other in your families is, is, is to pray. If someone is hungry, 
let us know so that we can bring them food, bring them comfort. Is this so uh, a loving a loving phone call or an email or a video conference, whatever it may be? Today we are all called to be the mirror bearing women, uh, breaking the bonds of that paralyzing fear, but having faith in the risen Lord. Together we are strong in the faith in the risen Lord. Let us pray. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. Almighty oh, Lord God, Lord Fathers, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, mercy on us, and God, that he grant us your compassion, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for most all the divine support of Francis Pukumro. Our most blessed, measured, gracious, God, as long as time and the fall of the Lord, so God, the petition of David, for the very reverend fathers, for the truth of the God, and Isaac, for the truth of the God, and for for those who serve and serve in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the nation under God, for our government, and for all the military. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us also pray for the courage to be the mirror bearing women of today, telling others of the faith in the risen Lord, He who unites us and brings us together as one family before the Father, through the very breath and the, the life giving Spirit, that uh, we may be witnesses to God's love in the world today, Lord, hear us and have mercy. We also pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of God, the God, Maria, the Nisha, and the Mother, and the Father, the Spirit, and for the forgiveness of their offenses, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us also pray for the repose of the servants of God, Ola and Nicobor, Mother to Father Ivan, and to, to uh, uh, Father Vasil. Uh, Nicophor, and for the servant of God, Mary Dunn, sister to Bishop Brian Dunn, who have fallen asleep for the forgiveness of their offenses, voluntary and involuntary. We also pray for the people of the oppressed who may be granted bountiful mercies, for those who have been kind to us, and for all our good expressions. Mercy. For your merciful and loving God, we give glory to your Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. 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 In the name of peace, but as a faithful prayer to the Lord. John, we love you, please. I'm so bitter, and you need to be slavo, salado, as you, you stand there, so come and look for me. Then you post your chance to be a rich
Ісі, ваш православний християни, папа мене Господь ви почаште своїм, завжди на нього всіх час і на віки вічні. Відомо, як Дон, Ремінс Кінгдом, Новий Універсал Фонте, Франсис Поперон, з Біанатор до Патріарх Святослав, Ар Мост Ревнич Фолтон Лоренс, Those in the priestly, diaconal, monastic, and religious orders, our civil authorities and peacekeepers, the ever to be remembered benefactors and founders of this holy church, and all your Orthodox Christians now, always, and forever and ever. Нехай буде з усіми вами. Yeah. 
power to master the love and find we to cry out and say, Holy are you, truly all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, truly all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world as to give your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. After he had come and fulfilled the whole divine plan for our sake, on the night he was given over, or rather gave himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy, most pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broken. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. In like manner, the cup after the supper, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for me. For the forgiveness of sin. Pray and bring therefore this solitary commandment and all that was done for us the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second glorious coming. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you, we bless you, we thank you, Lord, and we pray to you, our God. Further, we offer to you this rational and bloody worship. We ask. We pray and we entreat you to send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts your present, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be for the communion and sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit. Fulfillment to the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational worship for those who have gone to the rest in faith. Our fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finishes his life in faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. Be with all of you. And with your spirit. And with 
and perform the saints again and again. Peace with us, pray for the Lord.
I believe, O oh Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the, the Son of the living God, who, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Although I cannot now be a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, come at least spiritually into my heart by your divine grace for the healing of my soul and body. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as a Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. I also believe, O Lord, and profess that this which I would receive, and which is now here present with us in mystery, is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood. May I one day partake of your mystical supper again for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Save your people, O oh God, and bless your inheritance. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling death by death, and to those in the tombs, giving life. Blessed are God, always, now, and forever, and ever.
good time with the pandemic. Bowing our heads, bending our knees, let us pray to the Lord. Jesus Christ, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid in the midst of this global spread of the coronavirus that we experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors helping one another. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, the nurses, researchers, all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those afflicted. Put them themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity, true concern for the well-being of the people. They are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for and prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work to achieve it on earth. Whether at home or abroad, surrounded by many, suffering from this illness or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure, mourn, persist, and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace, for yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. God of blessing, the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for humankind, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, Christ our God, our God, glory be to you. Praise be to you from the depths of the dead, for death, and to those in the tomb, he Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Master, give me the blessing. Christ, our true God, risen from the dead through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, holy, glorious in all prayers were the apostles, our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of uh, the holy priest St. Basil, for whom this church is dedicated, the holy priest, Martyr Basilius, Bishop of uh, Anasea, whose day it is, and of all the saints will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves human Amen. Thank you, Father, for coming to us. It makes us a little bit of uh, this very special that makes us feel that this coronavirus is not that difficult as they think. Just one short announcement that tonight, uh, when uh, in Rabbi Tun uh, 101.7, is going to be the life of uh, Blessed Yosefata Hordashevska. Again, Radio 101.7. Yeah? Six o'clock in the evening. Yeah, that's right. Tonight. If you have a, uh, a wish to listen about Blessed Yosefata, please do. And uh, also, one more thing. Mama Mark uh, celebrated yesterday his name day, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you for having us, for being with us. You are spiritual director of the whole parish, I would say. Yeah, thank you for working with us. And may God God bless you with many more holy and happy years. <laughs> May uh, each
each and every one of us have a blessed and a, and a holy week. And let us bring our fears before the Lord, lay them at, at his feet. And like the mirror-bearing women, may we overcome our fear uh, with faith, faith in the risen Lord. Christos was Christ. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christos was Christ. 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 Yeah.